So this is just two of those white boards you buy from the dollar store. All I did was take some wood glue and I glued it all down here. And in the back, I glued some more, put some more wood glue down and then I taped over it so it would kind of just stay really sticky and I didn't really care about the bottom because no one's going to see the bottom. So, just measure it out so the whole fabric will be covering the whole piece, almost like a pillowcase you're going to pocket in it and you can use fabric glue or sew it. So what I did for this is just one of those things to go over the uh, a uh, desk pad so I can like hold my papers or whatever little reminders in the in the fold and it'll hold my calendar in place and not move around a bunch. So all I did for this, which give you a closer look at it, it's a little retro but not the greatest, but works for me, good enough for me. So what I did is I take some of this stretchy elastic that I had from my sewing stuff, which is just, you know, if you make purses or, um, I forgot what I bought those for, or dresses, so, you know, tube top dresses where you want to have the dress stay in place, that's your boobies, or <laughs> if you want to have the dress stay in place, um, over your cleavage to have, you know, a strapless dress, you would have this underneath the fabric so it stays nice and tight um, and you can use it for other purposes uh, in sewing so for that I just used um, you know a decent sized piece that I took like that and so this so I also added the fabric around it to make it prettier so I know there's a proper way you can do this um, which there's many sewing videos that you can find on YouTube that will, you know, show you something a lot better than I will. So all I really did is I just put this down and I wrapped the fabric up in it like so. And then I cut the tiniest, I, I cut it in a straight line like that. I added a little extra so it would be, you know, nice and more of a clean cut like that. And then I just sewed it all down the line, all down the line, and be careful, because if you put fabric on the stretchy part, it's you have to account for the fact that when you sew it, it's gonna make it tighter, so therefore less, like, less stretchiness. So that's why I had to leave a little gap on mine so that it would actually still stretch over my binder as this part doesn't really stretch anymore. So keep that in mind if you decide to make something like this. Yep, so all I did is I sewed that, sewed it together like, after the sewing was on it, sewed it together like this, or fabric was on it, excuse me, sewed it together like this at the bottom so that it would be a little pull like that, close off at the end. And then I added some clear plastic, which I am big bargain shoppers. So you can find like the bag I had in the picture from the dollar store. And you know, it's not the thickest plastic and the greatest material. You can find something at Lowe's a shower curtain right there if you wanna buy something cheap that's a little bit more sturdier than this type of material. But I just like to cover it up because I paint at my desk and I do a lot of things like that, which is also what I'm going to be doing, covering the pad, the actual pad when I'm done with it, which will make it a little bit more tacky looking, and I, I don't like that. I like things to be pretty. But since I unfortunately do work at my desk and I don't have a lot of space in my house, I want to make sure this stays nice and pretty, so I'm going to put the plastic down so I can easily, you know, wash off the paint or retake it and redo it again and the fabric will be nice. Okay, so yeah, and then after I did that and sewed it up and put 
um, cut the piece of plastic that I was going to use to put around this whole part here except for this little part here and this little part here so again it'll still be stretchy. Um, I took a piece of lace trim that I had found at the dollar store. You can really use anything you want. I just liked the idea, the design of that little lace um, behind the fabric or on top of the fabric. So I just took some fabric glue that I bought, I believe, from Walmart, Fabric Fusion or Amazon, I can't remember, but I think it's about four or five bucks for like four fluid ounces, and it's a pretty decent amount. I can, you can get a lot of stuff done with it. Um, so yeah, I just, and it's sturdy, it'll stay good on there, and I just put a little on and then put the plastic over, put a little regular glue down on that, smeared it out so it would be not, you know, bulky glue build up under the plastic and yeah there a little cover for your tape or for your uh, oh my gosh I can't think of the words little holder for your papers on your desk pad there you go hope you like it and we'll show the finished product soon so for these I have them on my uh, dust pad previously again just a little way to hold the calendar and plastic in place but not like glued down so I can still remove them take them on take them off and they got a little dingy and dirty because I did never put the plastic excuse me because I never put the plastic on it like I did with the this and the actual um, pad itself dust pad itself so I'm going to reupholster these a little bit with this fabric that's matching the paper holder for it so all I'm gonna do I'll show you real quick how you make these it's really simple I took this plain leather fabric here and let me use a piece that's not quite as uh, uneven so you take this fabric here you know a regular piece like this you would say cut it like that into that size which means they would end up being hmm about half of that would be like this so it's right down the middle so that's how you know how big it would be. So that's a pretty decent size one. So you'd cut that right off like that. I don't think I really need this fabric for anything. Cut into an even triangle like that. Take this part. Fold it up like this. And leave this part that's the triangle bottom open so you can put it in the thing um, over the corner angle of the pad. And then either glue or sew this part up right here so that when you flip it inside out, so that when you flip it in and out like this, so this is all sewed up here on this side, this part is open. You can just push it back out. And it's a nice seamless corner without any rigid lines. Yep, so these are <laughs> kind of gross. So I'm going to pull off some of the glue and give them a little kind of quick once over wash. I'm gonna take this fabric and I'm just gonna kind of do the same thing I would have um, using it this way but instead I'm not actually going to um, cut it because it's gonna I want the fabric to be on the outside and this fabric is not really sturdy so I want to use these as kind of like the sturdiness of it but I want this to be on it because it's pretty and matches the other one. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. You'll see me doing it, so... Hope you enjoy. <laughs> 